Good morning, Crossroads South, and happy Friday. Today is Friday, December 9th, and it is a B day. I think I have that correct. B day, which means you have blue, purple, encore, uh, B day encores. You have HAP and you have Excel today. Um, please remember during HAP, you must get to your HAP class. And if you are traveling in those halls at any point during HAP, going to another teacher, going to the music room, going um, to the art room, wherever it is, you must have a pass. You must have a pass. Um, the other thing is, and this reminder is also for all teachers, please do not dismiss your children any earlier than the bell. We have a lot of students who are crowding in the halls and it's hard for our sixth graders to get to their lockers at that time. So do not let them out of your classroom until the bell. Um, and that is for dismissal at the end of the day. A couple other big reminders. Next week, our trimester ends. We are ending our trimester, and um, that means grades are locked in. There's nothing you can do at that point. So this weekend is a big one if you want to make sure that you are all caught up and getting everything set. Be especially careful to look at your encores. Um, we are making some changes. If there are any schedule changes, they need to go through Mr. Kimmick or Ms. Hinson. Um, but we are making some adjustments to schedules for T2. If you are transitioning from um, an encore trimester based class like health or you're transitioning from um, sixth graders your world language classes make sure you know there's the bell make sure you know what your t2 encore is and who your teacher is and the location we will give you reminders next week but i can't believe it trimester one is already up i also want to give a huge shout out to our eighth a few of our eighth grade students, you know who you are, um, but I'm really, really proud. There's some of you here who have worked really hard. Um, uh, a few students that were outside at these cafe tables yesterday working really hard on writing, and um, I'm just really impressed with how far you've come since sixth grade. And I'm sure your grades are reflective of that. So that is um, wonderful and keep up the good work because as you transition into high school, um, this will just be wonderful for you moving forward. We wanna set up those good academic behaviors now as sixth, seventh and eighth graders so that you can just soar in through high school. And that's what we're here to do to help you get set up um, for life and success and happiness and all those wonderful things. All right, there is another reminder. We have another concert coming up on Monday. Um, that concert is our concert band who we featured yesterday and our jazz ensemble and our jazz band. So we're excited to um, celebrate those musicians and hear um, the wonderful music that's coming. And don't forget, we have a patterns assembly coming up every trimester. We we have a patterns assembly and this honors and celebrates all of the kids for reading and those of you who have read a ton um and have shown really great growth in reading you will get the chance to have your name called and win some prizes so our patterns assembly is coming up as well that makes me have one more reminder and that's about hallway behavior and making sure that you have a pass. Yesterday I ran into a group of students and they go, we have passes, Miss Capes, which was excellent. Um, this also brings me to HAP. You must be in your HAP class, not floating around, not setting up a social circle out in the corner, um, but that you are in your HAP class and um, if you are leaving for music, for art, to make up anything from any of your trimester courses, um, you do need to have a pass. And last reminders for teachers, please do not dismiss your students at the end of the day any earlier than that bell at three o'clock. We have a huge log jam that's happening down by the nurse's office because people are letting their kids go early. Um, to go to their lockers, but then they're all jamming up and the Phoenix kids can't get to their lockers. So we wanna make sure that we're respectful of the bell and making sure that um, we are safe in the halls. Um, I think that's everything. That concludes our morning announcements for this morning. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and we will see you on Monday. Please stand for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have an awesome day.